Hey friends, it's Tyler. It has been a hot second since I did a YouTube video. I have been so busy. I have some very exciting things coming up that I'm so, so excited to share with you all. So please keep an eye out. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with what I'm doing. This weekend, I'm doing something incredible and I cannot wait to share it with you. Coming soon this weekend. Ooh. Okay, so today I am going to be doing some BuzzFeed quizzes. I love BuzzFeed so much. I've been doing their quizzes for years. I'm so old. But BuzzFeed are so amazing. They actually wrote an article about me once. Um, you can check it out there. Um, but they are so incredible. They do a lot of H2O quizzes. So I went onto BuzzFeed, I looked up some quizzes, and I'm going to be doing them with you today. I have no idea what they are. I have not looked at any of them. So yeah, let's do this. Let's get into it. Okay, quiz number one. This H2O Just Add Water quiz will take you back to the noughties. What a time, what a time. Those early 2000s. What a time to be alive. Okay, question number one. Where is the show set? Sydney, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, Gold Coast, Australia, or Byron Bay? The Gold Coast. I love the Gold Coast. Correct, the Gold Coast. The show doesn't explicitly state that it is set in the Gold Coast, but that's where it was filmed. Um, incorrect, actually, because Cleo Massey will confirm this for me. In that episode, she says, there are mermaids on the Gold Coast. I'm sure, I'm sure I remember that. So there we go. <laughs> Question number two. And where do the girls first receive their mermaid gifts? Mako Island? Kangaroo Island? <laughs> Breakfast Island? Or Haiku Island? Oh, Kangaroo Island. Mako. Correct, Mako Island is located approximately 50 kilometers from the shores of the Gold Coast, which is how the girls could get to it by boat. What effect does the full moon have on the girls? They transform into mermaids, they pass out immediately, they act completely differently to their actual personalities, or they can't speak. They pass out immediately. They act completely differently. They act completely different. It honestly depends on the kind of full moon, but generally the full moon makes the girls act completely out of character. True, very true. Who tricked the girls into going to Mako Island at the beginning of the show? Kane, Zane, Lewis, or William? Kane, Zane. Zane, the local bad boy, plays a prank on Cleo, which results in the girls being trapped on Mako Island. He later goes on to date Ricky. It's true, it's true. What triggers the girls to transform into mermaids? The full moon, the touch of water. Um, lawn mower, I'm trying to film a video here. Rude. <laughs> Eating fish, or oh, it's a personal choice. I wish it was a personal choice. That would make it much more easy, wouldn't it? The touch of water. Unfortunately, every time the girls make contact with water, they are almost instantly transformed into their mermaid cells. A tad inconvenient if you ask me. I agree. Who in the group can boil water as their superpower? Ricky, Emma, Cleo, or Bella? Ricky. In later seasons, she can also control fire and lightning. Zuko is quaking. <laughs> Amazing. Iconic. Who has the ability to freeze water? Cleo, Ricky, Bella, or Emma? Emma! In later seasons, she can freeze anything she likes, even if there isn't any water around. And finally, who can manipulate water? Ricky, Bella, Emma, or Cleo? Cleo! Cleo can manipulate water. In later seasons, she's able to use her abilities to manipulate wind too. She is. Hey, there's another question. It's said and finally. Let's go. Who is Lewis? Cleo's childhood friend? Emma's brother? A creepy guy who follows the girls around? Ricky's boyfriend. Um, a creepy guy who follows the girls around isn't actually inaccurate, but Lewis... Lewis. Lewis has known Cleo since he was five years old and became a very close friend to the girls when they became mermaids. He's super interested in science and ends up dating Cleo in later episodes. It's true. Who is Bella? Cleo's sister? Another mermaid? A mermaid hunter? Or a witch? Definitely a witch. Another mermaid. 
Bella appears in season three to take over Emma's role as she leaves to travel the world with her family. Her abilities include turning water to jelly or completely solid. The girls lose their powers at the end of the first season. How does this happen? They drank a special potion. They wore a quartz necklace. The lunar eclipse occurred or they spent the night in the moon pool. The lunar eclipse. The girls lose their powers for 12 hours during the lunar eclipse when Dr. Demon catches onto them. When they demonstrate their loss of power, she loses interest and leaves them alone. Which Aussie heartthrob joined the show in season three? Lincoln Lewis, Adam Saunders, Liam Hemsworth, or Luke Mitchell? Luke Mitchell. Will appears in season three as a free diver and quickly discovers the girl's secrets. He falls in love with Bella soon after and they begin a whirlwind romance. Complete the lyric. I'm no ordinary girl, I'm from the blank blank blank. Huge blue underworld, deep blue ocean world, big blue ocean world, or deep blue underworld. Deep blue underworld. If you don't think H2O Just Add Water has one of the most iconic theme songs in Aussie TV, you're wrong. I agree. Definitely. And finally, what year did the last episode air? Oh, the last episode? <gasps> 2009, right? Oh, I don't know if it's 2009, 2010, 2009. Ah, no, no, dang. Ah, I got one wrong. I know, it feels just yesterday that we were bidding our favorite mermaids farewell. Well, I got 13 out of 14 correct. You definitely watch H2O Just Had Water growing up. You were absolutely the girl who would practice swimming like a mermaid at the local pool waiting for the full moon to transform you into a fish girl. A little bit gender conformist um, Buzzfeed, but I am definitely male identifying, but I do want to be a fish girl too, so I'll accept it. <laughs> Let's go on to the next quiz. The next quiz. Are you secretly a mermaid? Take this H2O Just Add Water quiz to find out. Am I secretly a mermaid? Hmm, let's see. What color mermaid tails do Ricky, Emma, and Cleo have? Red, blue, gold, or silver? Gold. Which of the leads has a little sister? Cleo. Kim. Who is Cleo's best friend turned boyfriend? Lewis. Nice. Which girl accidentally dyes her hair red at one point? Emma. Who was a member of the swim team until they became a mermaid? Emma. What's the name of the island where the girls go into the moon pool? Hey, this is like last time. Kangaroo Island is there again. Kangaroo Island, man. Mako. What is the name of the cafe everyone hangs out in season one? Juice Net. What is Ricky's mermaid power? She boils water. Yes, yes. What is the name of the mean girl who terrorizes the mermaids in season one? Miriam. Which of the girls was afraid of water before they became a mermaid? Cleo. <laughs> what does Cleo's dad do? He's a fisherman. Nice. I'm really going through this quiz. <laughs> Finally, which of the mermaids is Zane's love interest? Ricky. Okay. That one was, that one was kinder. 12 out of 12. You're a mermaid. There's no other explanation. You must be a zillennial mermaid. Zillennial. You grow up watching eight show just out of water and remember dramatically avoiding water in front of your friends and pretending you were a mermaid. I still do it. <laughs> this is the final quiz I'm gonna do. Okay. Which H2O Just Add Water Mermaid is your bestie based on the trendy outfit you design? It's a win-win-win situation. Oh my god, okay. Pick a top. Sweater vest, tee, Hawaiian shirt, or floral crop top? Tee. <laughs> Pick some pants. Jeans, denim shorts, ripped jeans, or joggers? Ripped jeans. I wear quite a lot of ripped jeans too. Pick a jacket. Business casual, bomber, jean jacket, or a parka? <sighs> I probably wear jean jackets the most, to be honest. Pick some socks. Ankle socks, crew socks, knee-high socks, or striped. Uh, probably striped is what I wear the most, to be honest. Pick some shoes. Boots, sneakers, converse, or heels. Boots. Pick a bag. Backpack, clutch, woven bag, or crossbody backpack. Pick an accessory. Sunglasses, watch, rings, or beanie. Sunglasses. 
Ricky! Yay! Definitely. Ricky. <laughs> There's no doubt you and Ricky would immediately click. She's the kind of friend who would definitely keep you past your curfew. Ah, oh, boys. Same. I, I genuinely feel like I would get along with Ricky the most, so I love that. I love that. That was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will put the link to these quizzes down in the description so you can take the quizzes yourself. As I said at the beginning of the video, please keep an eye out for the content that I have coming very soon. I am super, super excited about it. Thank you again for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much to those of you who have been following me on my YouTube journey. I am loving it so far and I can't wait to keep making content for you all. I will see you all soon. Have a great week. Bye.